Forward, Adam Greenberg. Looks like he's got this well in control at this stage. Solid shot from Greenberg going in. Can't miss him when he gets when he steps in. See, when he gets going, he looks a totally different class. He's just so relaxed. You know, 16 stone plus this kid, but um, like I say, he throws, he throws punches. You know, shows lovely little fakes, cracking right hand. That hurt. But that was a great right hand. And there's a look of uh, amusement on the face now of Shraba, who did get caught. Flush on the cheekbone. Look at that from Greenberg. Lovely left right combination and great footwork. Didn't let his man off the hook at all. And Shraba really had to cover up. And there was a couple of right hands and maybe a little uh, injudicious elbow to follow. But that was a very good shot by uh, Roman Greenberg. Great pair of shoulders on him. But to be fair to Shraba, he came back and landed with two little short rights of his own. So although Greenberg dominating the contest, didn't get it all his own way. But he moves very nicely for such a big man. And the touches are delivered with uh, more than decent accuracy. Good little Shows flurry no from him. at all. Uh, Greenberg showboating a bit, showed on the right hand and then landed with it. 35 seconds remaining. Greenberg oozing confidence now and oozing power. A little bit on the cheeky side, I'm not sure whether I like that, but that's his style. Really, Strabber's face is an absolute mess. He says, thank you very much indeed. He will not want to see young Roman Greenberg again. We hope to see Roman Greenberg in action as soon as possible. And that means it's uh, 16 consecutive wins for Roman Greenberg. But it's been a rare occasion that he's gone the full distance. Six rounds, points win for Roman Greenberg. Uh, it was well in control all the way through. And just to emphasise his superiority, finished off with a nice little flurry. Good, solid right hand to the jaw. Not a bad performance by Greenberg at all. Professional contest, 16 wins, 12 inside the distance. Julius Francis has uh, lost quite a few along the way. 19, to be precise. So having got the rounds under the belt, will we see Greenberg just uh, step up the work rate? Oh, a wicked, wicked looking left from Francis. And he delivered that with serious intent. If that had caught Greenberg, well, well, that just shows you that Francis is still in this fight, and that's the beauty of the heavyweight division, isn't it? One punch can change everything in, with with heavyweights, especially. And Francis now, oh, he gets caught. Although he looked like he was going to throw some shots himself. Yeah, he got caught with a very good left hand. Greenberg was on the retreat and very cleverly delivered a very wicked left hand. And all of a sudden, Francis having looked a bit more confident, has got himself in trouble. And Greenberg, I think, has got certain plenty of time. France is not happy that Greenberg is hitting him around the back of the head and has an appealing look in the direction of Phil Edwards. But again, Greenberg, having gained the advantage, has decided just to uh, backpedal a little bit. Maybe if he came forward, maybe he's looking for the, for the rounds as opposed to the victory. But I think having got the rounds at this stage, uh, a stoppage victory would do his credibility no harm whatsoever. And he had Francis rocky and wobbling, and he's let him come back into it. Maybe that's part of the Greenberg master plan. Lovely little combination from Greenberg once again. Right, and then a very clever left. Yeah, Greenberg just needs to step it up a little bit now. That was the first sign in this fight where Francis was in trouble a little bit there. He certainly felt those shots. And for a split second, he went back, went back onto the ropes. And Greenberg, although he came forward, never really seized that opportunity. And that was an opportunity missed, definitely. That's where Greenberg does not want to be. Very cleverly, he holds on. Two more rounds coming up. Greenberg looked as if he had Francis in all sorts of trouble, but the big fella got away with it. No, no. 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 Francis falling well short now with these shots. Good right by Greenberg. And again, well blocked by Francis though, the second one. See if Greenberg switches to that left. Oh, that's good stuff by Greenberg. Keep the punches up, but interesting, the uh, cup protector of Francis is very, very high indeed. Good round by Greenberg. Maybe he should have he did, but you couldn't fault him. Won that one very clearly. Francis' corner saying, come on, big right, big right. That's really just about all he has left. 
Greenworks left is uh, held very low indeed, and he's leaving himself open to that. And are we going to see one of those very last-minute major upsets in big divisions? We've seen it before so many times. Yeah, I think Greenberg there was just saying you hit me on the back of the head, but still, he, he should have his hands up at this stage of this fight. Well, a lovely work from Greenberg, doubled up that left hand and landed with a very good right. And yet again, he's got Julius Francis in a little bit of trouble. And there are wonderful signs there that, that this fellow Greenberg is a genuine talent in this heavyweight division. So a minute remaining, and it's going to be a clear points win for Roman Greenberg. And he'll be pretty happy with his performance all the way through, and particularly that he's gone 10 rounds for the first time in his, in his career. He's stopped a lot of people. He's gone six rounders with uh, decent boxers. This is by far the, the best boxer, albeit a 40-year-old. But then ask Carl Thompson about what it's like to be a 40-year-old. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> Don't underestimate the 40-year-olds. But uh, Greenberg's been, been fully in control in this contest. And he'll learn from this fight, Jim, and he'll grow in confidence of doing those 10 rounds. No question. Francis coming forward inexorably, inevitably, as he has done right from the first bell. But Greenberg has always been there, has always been quicker to the punch. And while people may say, well, Greenberg, if he's any good, he should have stopped Julius Francis. He's done a great job here in what's been a massive, massive step up for him in terms of class. And he's accomplished his task very impressively. Good finish by Greenberg, landing with good shots. Francis says, is it me? And he says, no, it's not me. Greenberg's won that pretty handily indeed. I don't think Julius Francis really could have been serious about that. He wasn't landing anything like the volume of punches, wasn't throwing anything like the volume of punches. And Rowan Greenberg, I think, has uh, overcome a major hurdle in his professional career. Right at the end, there were wonderful signs of that hand speed of uh, Greenberg. Francis did very well to block an awful lot of them, but the young fella really was getting to look at that, the jab and then the hook. One of the hardest things to do in professional boxing, and Roman Greenberg finished with a genuine flourish to record professional win number 17. To the body from Greenberg, the jab from Sacco. Three punch combination, and Sacco just decides to showboat a little bit. But it's Greenberg getting off with a better shot. Now he opens up, now he lets the shots go. Nice finish to the round there from Roman Greenberg. There's the left hook to the body from Greenberg. He's taking the better shot, the right up close, left hook. Good work from Greenberg. Come down, come down. Nice left hook to the body from Greenberg. Then the right up across. Then the left hook to the body again, showing good work on the inside. Solid right hand from Sago, then the left hook. Again, just threatening, trying to come forward. Greenberg starts to tee off with the right hand. Greenberg just looks towards the corner. Solid jab goes in from Sacco. Greenberg, much more experienced, 19 fights, 19 wins. Sacco, modest experience, but doing well. And we're here in the Monaco Sporting Club in a good eight-round heavyweight contest. Mamadou Sacco now has come out. He means business. He's got Roman Greenberg pinned on the rope. Can he change the fight around? Greenberg ahead on point. He's been the boss. He's got the sharper punches. That's a good right hand from Greenberg. Now he puts it together. Good left and right. Sacco on the ropes, covers up. The punches raining in from Greenberg. This is much, much better. Now he's in control, forcing the fight, looking for the stoppage win, 
be a good stoppage if he can get it. Sacco won five of seven, only lost two fights for those five. And the action continues, and it's Greenberg with a good punches. Now he goes for the shot. In control, letting the punches go. Body, head, left, right. Good shots from Roman Greenberg. This good prospect from the Fight Academy. Dave Lewis, Robert Waterman. Well, the formality of the decision, it is a unanimous decision for the young up-and-coming heavyweight Roman Greenberg picks up his 20th win in 20 contests and moves ever closer the big title fights.